Yo, are you serious? Hey, yo. I got scammed. You got what? Yo, you got what? I got scammed. That's wild. Like, okay, so let me give y'all the breakdown. So about a month ago, I ordered what I thought was a Fendi tracksuit off of Poshmark, which I thought was like the site or like the staple, the benchmark for like, you know, if people are trying to buy or sell things, I thought that the items go through like an authentication process. So I ordered this tracksuit from a dude named like Greg or something and Greg was selling it and I seen it and I just thought it would be some, something comfortable to throw on that I can wear with my, with my, uh, with my Vapor Max, right? Let me show you, hold on. So if you guys haven't seen my last review, these are the Vapor Max that I was going to wear the tracksuit with, right? So, <laughs> the tracksuit finally come in the mail, right? This shit come in the mail. And this shit came in this Ziploc bag with a clear front. Ziploc bag with a clear front. So I said, all right, that shit's odd. It's not in the box. Okay, cool. Like, as long as the integrity of what's inside the packaging isn't that bad, yo, I'm, I'm straight. Greg, you all right. You, you got a, you one for, you, you one for one with me right now. You got an A plus, right? It wasn't until I took this shit out of the bag that I noticed some, some discrepancies, right? So, I get this fucking tracksuit. I feel terrible to showing this shit to y'all. So I get this fucking tracksuit. And I thought it was cool because it had like the two eyes and shit. First of all, like the eyes ain't even sewn on, so they ain't real Fendi. You gotta figure, I spent $150 for this tracksuit. And, and maybe Fendi tracksuits go for, I'm, I don't know, I'm not a Fendi, I'm not like a, I just, the, tra the suit looked cool online when I looked at the pictures. I said, this shit looks tough, but I should have known something was up because the photos were like stock photos and shit. So like, so like at first glance it looked cool, it got the Fendi tag on the shit, right? And I'm like, okay, you know, uh, all right, maybe I can still finesse it. It's not really the quality that I want. The quality of this is terrible. It wasn't until I further examined that I seen that this bitch has a Fendi tag when an Adidas zipper, my nigga. A Fendi tag with an Adidas zipper, my nigga. Yo, come on, look at this, look at this shit, bro. Oh my fucking gosh. So then I was like, yo, no, this nigga didn't. I'm about to go to Atlanta, Georgia, whatever DH Gate website he ordered this shit off of. I'm about to fuck Greg up and I'm fucking the vendor up. I don't fuck with no more Gregs. If your name Greg, I do not fuck with you. Don't DM me. Don't look for me. I will fight you on sight just because your name, just because your name Greg. Just because your name Greg. I don't fuck with no more Gregs. Y'all did me dirty. One Greg did me dirty. All y'all niggas is, is foul. All y'all niggas foul. So then I take the sweat, the sweat part out, the sweat pants part, the bottoms. And it got like all this weird hair on it and shit. I'm like, all right, bro. Like. Okay, yo, this is the worst. This is the worst fake. Like, I don't, I don't wear fake shit, but I'm sure if there's other fake shit out there, it, it wouldn't, it can't get no worse than this. This shit is, this shit is ass. This shit is ass. So, so I said, okay, I said, okay, I'm trying to think logically. Like, I already paid my money for this. Um, can I return it? I tried to return it. The nigga deleted his account. I can't return it. Can't find him. So I'm like, all right, I don't know how that, I don't know how that works. I'll just take the $150 loss, right? So I was like, I'm gonna keep it a bean. Like if it was like a a, a, a good fake, like a good fake, like I'm gonna keep it a bean. I already spent my money on it. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my little bit of money's worth. I'm gonna wear, you know, like around the house or, or, or maybe to the gym or something like that. And, and if somebody called me out on it, yo, so be it. Like I'll take that L that day. I spent the money on it, I'm gonna wear it. 
Um, if somebody says it's fake, I'm gonna say, nigga, you, you caught me, right? It's fake, you caught me, you got it. But the fact that this fake is so bad, ain't no way in a Jamaican's tank top that anybody, who's anybody, is gonna let me get away with this. So I said, all right, bro. I'm gonna be walking down the street one day. Somebody gonna be like, Dickhead. Dickhead. 